from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, May the 2nd, 2018. We open with outrage over a speech made this week by Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. The speech, first reported by the Times of Israel, was given at the Palestinian National Council Conference on Monday night in Ramallah, where Abbas called Israel a colonial project that has nothing to do with the Jews, and claimed that the Holocaust was not the result of anti-Semitism, but rather because of social behaviors of Jews like money lending. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu condemned the remarks and urged the international community to follow suit. Netanyahu said with utmost ignorance and brazen gall, Abbas claimed that European Jews were persecuted and murdered not because they were Jews, but because they gave loans with interest adding Abbas is once again reciting the most contemptible anti-Semitic canards. The European Union's European External Action Service said the speech contained unacceptable remarks concerning the origins of the Holocaust and Israel's legitimacy. Saying such rhetoric will only play into the hands of those who do not want a two-state solution, which President Abbas has repeatedly advocated. United Nations envoy to the Middle East Nikolai Mladenov called the remarks unacceptable as well, saying that denying the historic and religious connection of the Jewish people to the land and their holy sites in Jerusalem stands in contrast to reality. U.S. Special Representative for International Negotiations Jason Greenblatt called the remarks very distressing and wrote on social media, peace cannot be built on this kind of foundation. The U.S. Holocaust Museum in Washington said Abbas's remarks were grossly inaccurate and an insidious type of anti-Semitism. Museum director Sarah Bloomfield said Nazi Germany and its collaborators were solely responsible for the Holocaust. Abbas distorts the history to advance an agenda that lies about the Holocaust and Jews' connection to Israel. German Foreign Minister Heiko Maas echoed that sentiment, writing on social media with a link to the article with the Abbas speech that Germany was responsible for one of the worst crimes in history, and therefore, he said, we must respond resolutely to any anti-Semitic expression. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is in Israel today and met with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu in Jerusalem. The two leaders spoke on a number of issues, including the Iran deal and initiating direct flights between Israel and Japan. Abe met yesterday with PA President Abbas in Ramallah. Israel's President Reuven Rivlin is in Ethiopia on the first ever state visit by a president of Israel to the country. Rivlin met with his counterpart Mulatu Tashome and discussed deepening cooperation in areas like water, technology, health and food security, as well as the challenge of fighting terrorism. Rivlin wrote on social media that he also urged the Ethiopian president to try and help bring Avira Mengistu back to his family in Israel, along with fallen IDF soldiers Hadar Golden and Aron Shaul. Mengistu is an Israeli citizen of Ethiopian descent who crossed into Gaza in 2014 and is being held there by terror group Hamas. Golden and Shaul's remains are also being held by Hamas. IDF Major General Kamil Abu Rokon was sworn in earlier this week as Israel's new Kogat coordinator, the military liaison to the Palestinians. Abu Rokon is the second ever Druze to serve in the post. He replaces Major General Yoav Mordechai. Speaking at the ceremony yesterday, IDF Chief of Staff Gadi Eisenkot said there were many challenges to face right now, in particular with the situation in Gaza. He said in recent weeks, we've once again seen the complexity of the situation when our forces found themselves facing mass protests that served as cover for terrorist actions, attacks on soldiers, attempts at kidnapping, attacks on military posts, and attempts to infiltrate Israeli towns. Renowned Jewish designer Judith Lieber and her husband, artist Gerson Lieber, died this weekend, hours apart. Gerson was an abstract painter and sculptor. He passed away Saturday afternoon at the age of 96 after suffering a heart attack. Hours later, Judith, who was 97, also had a heart attack and died.
She was known for her small crystal covered handbags which have been carried by several first ladies and are part of several museum collections. Gerson's works are in the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Smithsonian, among others. Guatemala today began moving its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Furniture and equipment was moved into an unfinished office in the Malcha Technology Park. And the country's flag was raised outside the building earlier this week. President Jimmy Morales and Foreign Minister Sandra Jovell will attend the embassy's official opening on May the 14th. While the Tony Awards celebrating Broadway were announced yesterday and the musical about a small Egyptian police band who ends up in a small Israeli town did quite well. The band's visit garnered 11 Tony nominations, including for Best Musical. It is based on a 2007 Israeli film of the same name. The Jewish holiday of Lagba Omer begins tonight. It marks the 33rd day of the Omer, the 49-day period between Passover and Shavuot. In many parts of Israel tonight, bonfires were set to remember the Bar Kokhva revolt of 132 CE against Roman rule. Local authorities restricted and banned bonfires in several parts of the country due to dangerous dry conditions that could lead to the fires being spread. And taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, May the 2nd, beginning at 7 o'clock, we bring you an encore presentation of our exclusive coverage of the Jerusalem Post Conference, which was held this past Sunday at the Marriott Marquis in New York City. Speakers include Avigdor Lieberman, Danny Danon, Ehud Olmert, and Ben Cardin, among others. This runs until 11 o'clock tonight. And coming up right after this newscast tonight at 6.30, it's Thinking Out Loud with Micah Halpern. And that's the JBS News update for Wednesday, May the 2nd, 2018. I'm Tisha Bader.